Today we are at the Christiana Care Gene Editing Institute Learning Lab and we are having students from the Charter School of Wilmington actually come and do CRISPR in a box. The essential way that CRISPR in a box works is we take a ribonucleoprotein and we cut DNA. So the box provides all the reagents, all the materials and supplies students would need and we walk them through the experiment. So CRISPR cuts the DNA. We then provide a template, which is acting like a Band-Aid to go over that cut site and fill that cut site in. And then we use bacteria as our vehicle to show a visual readout. We have originally envisioned getting the gene editing technology out into the community to demystify it a bit. So we have felt for some time the best way to do that is to engage students at the high school level, that this is something that they actually can and that it should be of a major impact medically in a positive way in the future. It's really cool to see that these students are really interested in learning this material and they're grasping the concepts. I think it's super cool. I've never actually been in an actual lab setting before. I think it was very, very cool to be able to experience it. And we've learned a lot of new skills that I've never really had a chance to before with micropipetting. We don't really have those same resources at school. Um, and really, the CRISPR box is such a great resource. Um, me and my classmates are able to really, really try ourselves and can, like, realize firsthand what it's like to actually do gene editing. This is a technology that you're going to either be hearing about, you may be engaging with, you may be deciding whether you want it or not in the future, this is not going away. Genetic medicine is here to stay. The earlier we get students and even teachers engaged in talking about the various aspects of this, the better. So the more students we can engage and get interested in the STEM field, who knows one of them could be applying to the Gene Editing Institute after they go through college and then get the experience to come back to us and actually either work on cancer projects or work on something that's going to help future genetic diseases.